Okay, hi, welcome again. So continuing on, in here we're going to say, we're going to go back into the pointer script. So if not pointer clone, so we're making sure if it doesn't exist, then we're going to say pointer clone equals instantiate. We're going to do pointer prefab. Now the end of the ray. It's, it's not going to be, we're trying to spawn at the end of the ray, but we can't say ray.transform.position. It's actually called a point. So it'll be ray. Dot, oops, excuse me. It'll be the hit. It'll be the hit. So it'll be hit. Dot point. And then I'm going to call it quaternion. Dot identity. Normally I will say transform. Dot, transfer dot rotation or you could try and do something similar like hit the rotation but the rotation will come out weird so if you want to come the rotation where the plane is actually facing up you want to do quaternity and as game object and now we're going to make sure that it follows the mouse so if it exists else pointer clone dot transform dot position equals hit dot point so go ahead and save that off. <coughs> Click on the main camera and then bring the pointer script on it. And then now I'm going to actually put the pointer prefab right there. So now when you play, hmm, something weird just happened. Oh, actually, yes, <laughs> I forgot to mention one thing. Long time ago, I, in the very beginning of the game, I made you show a plane, or I mean, create a plane to be able to adjust these walls. That's what actually the plane is for. It's for be able to hit something for the team to spawn. So I can go here in my level stuff, click on that plane, activate it. It's actually turned off. And make sure you erase the mesh collider on it. And then you can actually turn off the mesh render. And now go ahead and hit play. Dun, 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 dun. Why is not spawning? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Okay, so one more time, I'm gonna actually make sure mesh render is on. Let's see. So it spawns it, just not on the plane. Okay, let me just delete this plane, redo the plane again. Sorry for that. <laughs> plane, plane, plane. <coughs> oh, we need a collider on it. It just has to be triggered. So create the plane. You can create as big as you want if you want the level big. Remove that component. Component physics box collider, and then make sure it's trigger. Now, you, now I can turn off the mesh renderer, and then I should be able to. Yep, yeah, there we go. Finally, I got my little cursor moving around. Now, if you want to hide your mouse, the mouse cursor here, so it doesn't show. You can actually go back to the script. Uh, right when it starts the game, we're gonna do application dot. Let's see, application dot. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, application dot screen. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I gotta go back again on it. It's probably gonna be screen that show cursor maybe. There it is. Sh screen that show cursor equals false. Okay, sorry for that. Now continuing on, we're gonna next video we're gonna make it so the ship actually looks our curse uh, our little pointer prefab. Y'all have a nice one.